Bernardo, it's an honor to be here. Um, since I got skipped, I'm going to make this, uh, this uh, presentation for an hour long. I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm the business development engineer at Space Innova. And we are leading the efforts of the Economic Development Project Spaceport Puerto Rico Launch Site Initiative. Uh, with the support of PRICO and the Port Authority, uh, this spaceport will be housed at um, Jose Ponte de la Torre uh, Airport in Ceiba. So I'm going to be talking about what is Space Innova. Um, I'm going to give you a 40K view of, of the spaceport trend and spaceport Puerto Rico, and how to become a space, uh, space hub. Basically, how do we um, insert ourselves into, uh, into this industry? So before I start, I want to show you a short video, uh, basically uh, resuming what our lunch uh, keynote speaker, uh, Kirby, uh, told us. Go ahead. I want us to have a frontier in space. And the only way to get it out is to build it. Uh, to build it. We grew up on the promise of Apollo. We believed we were going to have incredible access to space. And it didn't happen. We're in an age where too many people have lost the belief that our possibilities are limitless. My son looked at me one night and said, Daddy, is it really true that they uh, used to go to the moon when you were a boy? That's what a dark age is. The dark age is not when you have forgotten how to do something. It's when you forgot that you could. There are no easy magic solutions to building a frontier space. We have to make it ourselves. There's something else happening in space. There's companies now, there's even startups. We're betting on this new generation, and they're all taking a different approach, all doing different things. You don't have to be NASA to be involved in space. We've never had a lot of money, we've never had a lot of resources, and we've never used that as the reason why we can't do anything. If you open the frontier, it becomes all about possibility. What if everything in space one day was made in space? Developing the three printer that could work on the space station. We want transportation to be cheap enough and reliable enough so that all of these things people dream about in space can actually happen. Crazy is basically what everybody has decided is too risky for them to do. What's your alternative? Go back to lobbying Congress to get NASA more money? It's human nature to explore. It's within us. It's what drives us. In our lifetime, we will irreversibly leave the planet Earth. What if a child could grow up in a world, look up in the sky, and be a part of a civilization whose goal is to expand life. This is the new space race, or commercial space uh, 2.0, as uh, Kirby mentioned. So going back to the presentation. So, so what is Space Innova? Space Innova is in the business of innovation in space technology. We are creating solutions to social problems through the design and development of space-bound technological platforms. Formed initially as a consultancy to provide support to satellite rocket launches, today it has grown to a team of like-minded entrepreneurs with a common goal of innovating space technology accessible to everyday consumer. We are, we are an engineering design and service company creating space technologies, systems, and launch site infrastructures. So basically, Spaceport Puerto Rico is an infra infrastructure project, a real estate project, to promote and expand the space industry in Puerto Rico. So basically, these uh, spaceports are spurring all around the world and in the US due to the high investment in new vehicles and high demand uh, of launch services. Uh, Kirby uh, mentioned that the industry has, has been uh, has seen a a, a growth uh, in, since uh, the FAA 
the FAA Economic Impact of Commercial Space Transportation on the U.S. economy in 2009 report states that the commercial space transportation and enabling industry, that's the important part, enabling industry has seen a growing activity of 61 billion to 208 billion from 1999 to 2009, over 200% increase in a decade. Another source, uh, the Space Foundation 2013 report, states that the global economy is valued at $300 uh, billion, this was in, tw in 2013, and it's expected to double in 14 years, and Puerto Rico has to be part of this emerging industry. And this is, um, ev you know, this is evident since uh, the FAA has licensed over eight commercial spaceports within the past decade. In this image, uh, all the blue, um, uh, all the blue uh, text uh, spots there are the commercial uh, spaceports, the red ones are the federal, uh, the green one are the proposed spaceports, which most, which most of them are inland, and then you have the orange one, which is um, uh, Blue Origin uh, Seoul, Seoul uh, operator. So what we've, we have been seeing um, around this spaceport community is a growth of manufacturing and an influx of uh, suppliers, okay? So how do we become a space hub? You know, how do we insert ourselves? So first of all, we have to create the infrastructure, exactly what Bob uh, uh, Hellas from the research uh, triangle said. We have to build the infrastructure. In, in this case, the, this includes the facility, in this, uh, the airport, includes uh, a spaceport license, and it includes to pass some uh, laws and, and regulations regarding uh, the space activities. I'm sorry, I didn't change this slide. So I'm talking about the uh, tier one. So t taking into analogy the internet, the infrastructure of the internet is the fiber optic cables, um, the FCC, the Federal Communication Commission, which, re which regulates the uh, industry, and then you have the facilities with house that houses the, uh, the servers. Then. We go to the second tier, the platforms. Those are the commercial space companies that develop hardware. Those are launch vehicles, satellites, and payload. Um, so like SpaceX, Virgin Galactic, or Space Systems uh, Laurel, they're all developing um, physical hardware. In the internet analog, these are you know, your Apple computer, or your Samsung cell phone, or your HP computer. From there, we go to tier three, all the uh, applications. Um, in, this, in space, this is where the corporate sector, the academia, and, um, and, and the government uh, can use space and microgravity for product development and product um, innovation. When we reach the tier three, we can close the loop and create a sustainable economy. Here is where the, uh, where the enabling industry, where most of us, of you, are gonna benefit the, more, uh, the most. So, what is Space for Puerto Rico? It's an alliance be between three entities. First of all, Space Innova, which is the expert in, in the commercial space industry, um, is leading the efforts to deliver an FAA grant to operate a launch site, and then we'll, we'll become the, uh, the spaceport operator. Basically, we'll manage the day-to-day -day, uh, spaceport operations. We have the Puerto Rico Port Authority, which will be providing, um, which are the owners, and will be providing the facilities to our tenants, and airport services and, ge and, gen and general, general aviation services to our tenants. And third, we got PRICO, which they function as the key to incentivize the commercial space industry in the island. And I would like to close uh, this statement saying that Space Innova is here to create a sustainable, innovative community with, re with reliable, easy, and fast access to space, integrating Puerto Rico's existing infrastructure, skilled workforce, and supply chain capabilities. Space like land, air, and water is a medium of transportation and resources, and it, and it is the next frontier for global economic growth. 
Spaceport, with your continued support, is positioned to be a catalyst for economic de development. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> questions? Anyone? Okay, thanks. Well, thank you, Jose. Thank you, Space Nova. Thank you to our speakers. And thank you all for coming. I think it's been a great day, uh, full of possibilities, full of new uh, good ideas, and most important, a celebration. A celebration that we have an industry that is committed to providing jobs in the island, that wants to grow with us, uh, so that you know it's not all bad news what you read in the newspaper. We're here, we want to grow with you, uh, and thank you for working hard to make Puerto Rico a better place. Thank you all.